People have said that I should be banned from posting pictures of myself because I'm too ugly. I'm just the type of person where if you tell me not to do something, I'm going to do just the opposite. So I put this tweet up and I said, I would just like to commemorate that occasion with these three selfies. That viral tweet was the most unexpected moment of my entire life. I was born with a very, very rare condition called Freeman Sheldon Syndrome, and it's basically a genetic disorder. I had 26 surgeries over the years. I had joint contractures in my hands. My knees were bent. I had scoliosis. I had all those surgeries from when I was born all the way up until I was 16. I was always in the hospital, going to the doctor. Since then, I haven't had surgery. My health has been really good, but I use a wheelchair. Like, this is something I'm always going to have, obviously. But I think my disability has given me a lot of strength. And, and I don't think that's something that you necessarily think of when you think of disabled. Because our society thinks that disabled is something bad. And it's like, you know, shameful. But I am very proud to be disabled. And I think it's made me a stronger person. I've always gotten negative criticism online, especially for how I look thousands of comments of people making fun of my appearance and criticizing me and saying the most awful things that you can imagine. Saying that I should be banned from posting pictures of myself. And so I braced myself for that. But what I, what I never expected was the outpouring of support and the conversation, the positive conversation that my tweet kicked off. I wanted to find a way to respond that would be a moment to open up the conversation about how we treat people online and especially how we treat women online. Initially, I just did it for myself as a way to just kind of clap back at the trolls. A lot of people responded to me saying that they could relate to my tweet because they experienced the same thing, the same type of bullying. And I think that was really eye-opening for me because a lot of people saw themselves in my tweet. And they said that my tweet made them feel less alone. It was amazing, I think, in the best way possible. I really enjoy writing. I major in journalism in college, and I really like to blend my writing with what I'm passionate about, which is obviously disability awareness. And, you know, who knows, may maybe someday I'll write a book. Write a book that I wish I would have had when I was growing up. If I could give that to, you know, the next generation. I think I want people to know that a disability isn't a bad thing and it doesn't mean that it's something to be ashamed of. My disability is as much a part of my identity as my other identities like being a woman or being a writer. When people meet me, I think that they do sometimes underestimate me. I think this is true for a lot of people with disabilities. People tend to underestimate them and make assumptions. So I can't stress enough like just Get to know the person and I think you'll realize that they're not as different from you as you think.